So today I'm going to take you through how you can easily import uh, dividend data into Google Sheets with a simple formula without the need of potentially dangerous add-ons or plugins which may not be made by leg legitimate companies. Um, some people have done these formulas in the past, but their formulas are out of date uh, based on uh, URLs that don't, don't work or you know charts have been updated on websites over the years. The, formulas error out. Uh, they really just don't work anymore. And uh, these people who have made these videos, formulas, uh, they're not really supporting what they shared maybe months or years ago. Now I'm going to showcase how you can uh, utilize a simple Google HTML scrape formula for any stock ticker. You know, you can just simply edit the stock ticker portion and it'll work. Now, this too potentially will not last forever, but where others have abandoned their work, their formulas, their videos, uh, and don't respond to comments, I'll be updating the formula in the description of this video. Anytime something actually changes, like say the uh, company um, you know, updates their charts and kind of uh, edits the formula, or it'll bomb out the for formula, I will update that in the description of this video, which will then you know, make the formula work. Um, I'll be using these formulas, so I'll know as soon as you know they don't work in my own personal workbook because I utilize this system to import dividend data. As like I said, I have kind of personal issues with using any add-ons or plugins that aren't made by legitimate companies and are often just you know made by some guy. And you know, do we really know where that data is going? Uh, particularly. I don't like to do that where I'm storing my personal financial data. It doesn't really seem safe to me. So if you don't want to watch the full video and you're just looking for the answer, the answer is in the description. So you can grab whichever of the two formulas work best for you. Um, the first one, you can just simply replace the B2 section in the formula with the location of your stock ticker uh, in your Google, Google Sheet. Wherever that may be, you can pick the coordinate and put it there. Or alternatively, if you'd prefer a more static, um, unchanged formula, you can choose on the second formula and replace the spot where the three M's are, which is the three M stock ticker symbol. And you can replace that with your stock ticker symbol and it will work as well. So now that we've got the quick uh, Spark Notes version out of the way, I'm gonna show you how it works. So right here, I have five stocks. Full disclaimer, I am not suggesting or recommending that you buy any of these stocks nor providing any financial advice. I am simply showcasing you know, how to utilize Google Sheets more effectively with this dividend data. I will not mention which of these stocks I own and any other verbiage which will keep me out of trouble from having any sort of legal problems. I simply needed uh, these stock examples which provide a dividend payment and these uh, five work best for that purpose from a quick Google search. Now these formulas that I've provided will work for any stock which receives a dividend payment. So you don't have to worry about these five stocks, just if your stocks receive a dividend payment, it will also work for this formula. Now I wanted to provide two different um, URL options as I showcased in the quick SparkNotes version as I called it. Um, because, you know, either way, you know, sometimes you may have a reason where you want to pick from a certain spot coordinate uh, cell location in your um, Google Sheet, and sometimes you want it static. So I just wanted to provide both of those, but both will work exactly the same. So let's check out the first link. So if you uh, simply want to choose the location, I have it set to B2. So B2 is MMM, the 3M a stock ticker symbol. Now, if you do not want that, you can uh, change it to the MMM, which would be the static stock ticker symbol. Like I said, it'll work the same. Now, we're gonna go to this URL manually and I'm gonna showcase where it's scraping. So the formula, you don't have to get too um, in depth on knowing how the formula works, but basically it's gonna go to this URL, which you edited to go to the 3M portion of their website and it's going to look for a table. You can see table right here in quotation marks. This one symbolizes it's going to look for the first table on the uh, web page. And the two 
and the six are coordinates. So it kind of reversed. The six is the column number and the two is the row number. So let's go to this URL, which I already have open. Now this is the 3M uh, URL uh, page for the dividend on ycharts.com. Now down here, this is the first chart on the web page. So that one on this page. And then six over, one, two, three, four, five, six, obviously the last column. And then two down, so one, two, and that is the dividend payment. It will scrape, it'll be the newest one, whatever is below uh, the top one, which would be one. It'll bomb out if I change this to a one. It'll bomb out because it's looking for a financial value and all it'll pull is um, a word, so it'll error out. So we want the second line, which is the first or most newest dividend payment. So I'm going to showcase how that works. So right now I have it commented out. So I'm going to put this um, workbook link in the uh, description as well as these formulas. But if you want to copy this, be sure to not copy this little commented out uh, quote half quotation mark, hash mark. So I'm going to put it right here. And you can see it's going to B2 because we want the 3M uh, stock ticker symbol. And you can see it pulled the $1.50 from this cell right here. Now since I'm pulling from uh, the B2 coordinate, if I drag this down, it will also pull for the rest of these. So pulling that down. It pulled the information for Procter Gamble, Coca-Cola, Home Depot, Walmart, all from the Y Charts link. Now, if you manually go to Y Charts like I did to showcase, um, there's a chance if you do not pay for the service or have a free trial that you will um, get hit with a paywall, which will basically be a little pop up asking you to sign up. Um, you'll still see all this behind it, but it'll be all grayed out. The good news is that Chrome and Google Sheets can still scrape around that uh, paywall. So while you cannot physically, uh, the hard way, look at this data, Google Sheets can still scrape this for you. Um, so you don't have to worry on that front. But as you can see, it populated everything that we needed here. If you um, have any problems getting this to work in your sheet, it won't be the formula, but there could be you know, certain ways you'd like this to work in your sheet. Just leave me some questions and comments below. Um, unlike, you know, the other videos, content that's kind of been abandoned, I promise to respond because I actually utilize these. So I will most likely uh, see that it doesn't work in the morning and, uh, you know, adjust the formula and post it in the comments. I'll post a little, you know, date, update, time, or date, so you know that it's most up to date in the, in the comments below, I mean, in the description below. But if you don't have any questions, just comment down below what stock tickers you'll most likely be utilizing these formulas for, as that also helps bump this as well. If um, you utilize these formulas or learn anything from this video, uh, please subscribe and hit the like button uh, on this video as well. Thanks for watching.